As soon as we landed in Townsville, Australia, we were met by Lyndon, our supervisor at the Australian Institute of Marine Science, or AIMS. He took us out to a restaurant on the Strand, which is right on the beachfront. Since we're in the Southern Hemisphere, it's winter here, but Australian winter means perfect weather and beautiful beach views. On Monday, we went over to the Ames Vessel Facility and saw one of their research vessels called the Cape Ferguson. And right now, this vessel is actually out at sea, along with some of our mentors for the summer uh, on it. But it was really cool seeing this research vessel, getting a taste of what it might be like, uh, both figuratively and literally. Uh, we had quite a culinary experience on board the vessel when one of the crew members uh, had us try Vegemite. When I arrived in Australia, I was determined to try Vegemite. And so the first thing I did when we arrived was go to the store and buy an entire jar of Vegemite. And I didn't know that you were supposed to eat it spread on toast with butter. And so I stuck a spoon in the Vegemite and ate a whole mouthful and it tasted like soy sauce mixed with dog food and it was the worst thing I've ever had and I swore off it forever and ever until the next day because I'm determined to become one with the people of Australia. We spent the week at Ames meeting new people and learning. We got to explore the facility including the Ames Beach and the Sea Sim, which was definitely the highlight. The C-SIM, or a sea simulator is a high-tech research aquarium facility that is absolutely amazing. From lighting, to water temperature, to sediment, everything is tightly and precisely controlled, allowing for experiments with super high resolution data. And that's how we spent our week, just talking to people, learning about their research, and taking it all in, as well as developing our own projects. And luckily, we added one more to our crew with Zoe's arrival on Friday. On my first night in Australia, the group went to Magnetic Island for the weekend. And while there, Sierra and I went to one of the, one of the island's jetties that was overlooking the, continent, the actual continent of, Austra of Australia. And we were able to, on one side, out, out across this jetty, see the town of Townsville all lit up along the water. There's this really beautiful city and town of light and uh, just thriving and everyone was out. It was a Friday night and they were all lit up and just sparkling. But on the other side of the jetty, if you looked out, you couldn't see anything for miles and miles and miles. It was so dark that the water was actually brighter than the sky. And it was just this very cool ancient jetty, or not ancient jetty, but um, one of the original jetties in the town that the Aboriginals had built and the natives of the, of the island had created. And it was just this beautiful pier in the middle of the water. And that was my first real view of Australia. And that was when we were in Magnetic Island and it was just beautiful. And the rest of the island was also just absolutely gorgeous. And the weekend was beautiful sight after beautiful sight. We went snorkeling, we saw koalas, we saw all these animals in this um, sanctuary. We watched a koala get released and back into the wild. That was fantastic. And we just got to experience life on the island. It was wonderful.